Now look at that dry storm wall. Strictly private. <laughs> I do. I am miserable, fucker. Not lovely. As I walked out one morning fair. Here, check this sand and cement up there. Beware of rock falls. Lots of people don't like cycling. It's all right. Don't like cyclists, but uh, you know, if it's no chap and he's obviously experienced, and he's not a div, although he doesn't have a hat on, does he? I just want to make you take your helmet off. You know, the general consensus is, oh, we shouldn't have to do that, but I fully agree with it. Yes, I know it might be controversial to bikers, but you know. There have been so many bloody robberies with dickheads with helmets on, I don't blame them. And why not take your helmet off? So I will do, I'll knock it off for now. New church in Pendle, I think, I'm pretty certain. Pretty certain after getting lost. Nice one, you can see for miles in this weather. been here for three hours. It's what my mate Dave called proper bikers. I wouldn't go to the bulldog bath with him when he was sulking. I was just seeing, I was just seeing Wuthering Heights while we're here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> alright, alright. Don't stay out for long, it's tired. It must be two or three hours and it's back in. <laughs> A bit of extra illumination. All around my yard as well. I was saying there was an old fella on television years ago, the chap who actually made these Onslow. He went on a vintage, uh, vintage bike run. Well, he lent one of his bikes to this lad. And he was telling him how to start it up. How to run with it and jump on. <laughs> oh, really? Is that what you are doing? 34 Ford Coupe Hot Rod. She give us a toot woman. Is she gonna make that chain? <laughs> it's a little monkey bag with a little, little, little monkey on it. <laughs> Just like my Johnny Cash song I was singing on the way past Windermere the other week. He 
wrote a song about Ireland when he was uh, visiting and he saw all the green trees and green grass and he wrote 40 shades of green and I was joking, I said yeah he once came to Blackpool and he looked out where I'm stood now, out at the sea and he said <laughs> He sang, I went away on holiday, I went to Blackpool town. I looked out from the promenade and saw forty shades of brown. Each other down here, to be careful. Oh, there it was. I think they'd fill that in, been there for years. views down here. So over them hills there is Lancaster, that way is Preston, that way is Blackpool. Which one should I go to? <laughs> None of them. One of the brand new Wildcats to enter service literally in the last few months. Can you hear me? <laughs> Just arrived in uh, Blackpool, did very well with the train, 55 minutes. And I was walking out of the station and I heard this music. So just a chap playing guitar, but it sounded very good. He's playing some Melvin Moon dust, I mean Calvin Cole dust, I mean uh, Alvin Stoy dust. To pretend what was his real name? Not Shane Fenton, Bernard Jury. Three ah. guy in satin of worth £150 with any new V strum. Didn't you ask a spelling mistake? Was it not meant to be Storm? V Storm. And Japanese got it wrong. Oh yeah, it's a nice bike. I'm happy with it. I've not checked my LEDs, I'm not sure they're still working. From the back. Yep, look at that, lovely. Let's see if they last another year. <sighs> I had a lazy day yesterday, just watching television all day. I like Escape to the Country. And for any foreign viewers watching, it's a programme where a couple are looking to move house out of the city and into the countryside like this. Reminds me of Granville, I must reorder them uh, bottled plums. <laughs> so I went to my local, the plough, and the girl said, Oh, yes, it's a ticket's only do. But when I went to the plough, I was the youngest one in, it was busy, but the uh, whole pension is listening to the uh, karaoke. So I went to the Victoria, 